By the end of this lesson, you should be able to navigate around the SAC environment and know where to look for controls when working within SAC. Logged into my SAC tenant, the first thing I wanna point out to you is in the upper left-hand corner. You're gonna see three horizontal lines and when you hover over it, it's gonna tell you that this is the expand navigation bar button. When you do that, you're gonna see all the different navigation controls for accessing the different parts of SAC. Now, pausing here for a moment, you may not see as many little buttons as I do. It really depends on your user's role within SAC. Since I am a global admin with an SAC, I have every single possible clickable button here. Main thing I wanna point out to you is that these are grouped together. The first group you have home and your files access. Below that is the applications group where you can navigate to the different apps within SAC. And then down below that is more of like the admin control area. So typically you're not gonna see much here unless you have elevated privileges within your SAC tenant. Now, a neat thing about SAC is that if you're ever unsure of what any of these items are, you can hover over and it will tell you what it is. Obviously there's a label here that says calendar. So when I hover over calendar, that's not really helping me, but when this is collapsed down, you'll see that that can be a beneficial way to quickly identify what these icons are as you're learning your way through SAC. The other element I wanna show you is at the top, you have what's called the shell bar. The shell bar by default has a number of icons that are static, meaning they will always be there. And then there's another part of the shell bar that's gonna change dependent on what application you're in or what you're doing in SAC. So on the right-hand side, you have your search. You have search to insight, which allows you to query and ask questions of your data and items in SAC and get results. There is a button here for notifications, Collaboration, which is a chat feature built into SAC. Feedback, if you wanna provide feedback to SAP. And then you have your help button and profile. Let's take a look at the shell bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate into the Stories app. Once I'm in the Stories app, you're gonna see a start page. Every app is gonna have a start page. It allows you to quickly jump into a recent file you've been working on build something from a template, or get started from scratch. And again, depending on what app you pick, you're gonna see different options there. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into creating a story. Make sure to read any pop-up, especially if it's the first time that you're seeing it. And then once you're in the application, again, look at the top. In the application itself, I have a control bar that has a special set of tools and options for the particular application that I'm in. And it's grouped in a familiar type of way where we have a file group, an insert group, data group, format display, and so on while I'm working within stories. All the way at the top, looking at the shell bar, now it tells you what application you are currently in. So I'm currently in the stories app working on a new story. The asterisk there meaning that I have not saved this story yet. And when I do actually save the story, whatever file name I choose will then be reflected up here. You do have the ability to favorite that if that's an SAC item that you may want to return to quickly and easily. The X here will close me out of the Stories app. I can also use the little navigation arrow here to go back to the previous page that I was on, which was the home page. During this training, we learned about navigating around the SAC environment. We understand how to open and close the navigation panel and what options might be available within it. We learned how to access the controls in the shell bar for navigation and other options that we may need while working within SAC.